Many patients with visual snow syndrome also work, work actively in the workforce. And what do you do? I think the first step uh, for, for these patients who suffer with visual snow is to educate their, uh, their co-employees, people they work with, and their, and, and their superiors, their bosses, whoever. Educate them what's going on. Educate them with the fact that they have this diagnosis of visual snow syndrome. I think it's very important uh, in, in the process of coping with this in, 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 in a workforce environment is that patients uh, who are suffering or family members print out stuff from the internet and give it to their bosses, give it to their co-workers. Just make it make it an, uh, an awareness thing. I had one patient that actually had, a, uh, you know, went to a conference room and actually had a half an hour session over lunch educating um, her fellow employees about visual zone syndrome and that worked very effectively. And you know, I think once you have that education in place, then you can get really good support from your co-workers, from your bosses uh, in changing the work environment. So basically a less cluttered work environment uh, you know, decreased lighting. There's certain lights that are very, very, you know, bright pot lights uh, affect a lot of people. You know, dimmed lights, um, special uh, fluorescent lighting uh, can also sort of, uh, you know, with, with, the, with sort of a yellow light can sort of uh, help patients tolerate their symptoms more. You know, encouraging uh, people uh, in the office to buy uh, these uh, filters that you can put on your computer screen that kind of dim the light that's coming forth. Um, you know, wear sunglasses and let people know at work that you have visual snow syndrome so that they tolerate you wearing sunglasses. You know, um, having blinds on the window uh, to, and, and, and putting the blinds down. I think all, all these things really, really make, uh, you know, employers and, and, and your coworkers aware. The other thing that uh, one patient has done, just to give an example, is that she got permission from her boss to take 10 minutes to go and do yoga and meditate and just be going a quiet dark space and just collect her thoughts and I think that really helped her get through the day. So I think education support um, is is the key to uh, working in a, in a workforce, uh, so you're working in a workspace with Visual Sound Central.